All right, we're here with another playthrough. This time it's Seven Days a Skeptic. Yay! This is the next game in the Chizo Mythos series. The previous one was Five Days a Stranger. Man, future computers are lame. Yes, this game is in the future. Welcome back to your personal interface. Zero new messages. Three news items that match your preferences. IO News Station Disaster. Relaunch the Mephistopheles and new breed of salmon discovered. The scout ship Mephistopheles, first built in 2328, was relaunched yesterday after extensive upgrades. She will be assigned to the map to map the uncharted regions of the Caracas Galaxy. She is under the command of Captain Barry Chacal, hero of the Mars Riots, and is to be Captain Chacal's last posting before his retirement. A spokesman for the Earth Federation Navy dismissed claims that, despite several upgrades, the Mephistopheles is outfitted with obsolete technology. He is quoted as saying, if it was good enough in the 23rd century, it's good enough today. He's also kind of a jerk. All right, let's see the picture. Boop. I'm not actually doing anything right now. Cue the music. I said cue the music. I don't know what I pay these guys for. The scout ship Mephistopheles. Twenty-seventh of twenty-three eighty-five. That's the date. It's the Earth date. Location, a lot of numbers, Caracas Galaxy. All systems running normally. Turbines to speed, atomic batteries to power. Ben, Yahtzee Croshaw presents... Yes? Yes? Seven days a skeptic! Yay! Sometimes I get the feeling I don't belong here. I mean, I'm on this ship. I'm here on this ship, surrounded by all these veterans. And I'm terrified someone will notice me and say I'm on the wrong ship. Not that there's nothing you can do about it. Here in deep space, I keep having this weird dream where I'm in a room full of people with green skin. And they just watch me, wondering what I'm doing there. And then one of the green people turns around, and he's my father. Does that distress you? Not really, although I do feel kind of embarrassed. What do you think, John? What do I think? I think you're nuts. No, William, I think you're just letting things get on top of you. I mean, ship's physician on an exploratory scout ship. That's a pretty heavy first posting. No one expects you to do anything other than your job. Eh, I suppose you're right. I'm a counselor. I'm always right. Heh. <laughs> See, I'm sorry to have barged in on you like that. Oh, don't worry. That's what I'm here for. I better get back to sick bay. Thanks, John. All right. Anyway, we're not playing yet. We're not playing Trilby this time. Now we're this guy. My diploma in human psychology. My license to practice it in an enclosed spaceship environment. Who wants to be in an open-top spaceship environment? That's what I want to know. I brought that couch with me from the share house when I lived at college. It's a bit small for people to lie down on, but it's the thought that counts. And finally, the chairs. They're the chairs that came with the room. I'm not going to look at everything in the game. Ooh, door! No. This is a shipwide announcement. All personnel report to the conference room on the ops deck. By order of Captain Chahal. Oh, hey, John. Adam. What's this all about? Beats me. Maybe someone died. Alright, boys and girls. Serena and I have a little announcement to make of something I think you should know about. I thought you... I thought you were already married. Harry, right, wrong guy. I thought you were already married. Yes, yes, very witty. The fact is, the scanners have picked up something floating in open space. Something manufactured. Serena? Thank you, Captain. If I could draw your attentions to the tabletop. The object is constructed of a metallic alloy and seems to be rectangular in shape. Oh, wow! First contact! Let's not get too excited. It's more likely a human artifact left to drift for a long time. 
What else do we know about it? It seems to be some kind of container. The right sort of size to be a cryonic escape pod. My sensors don't show any life signs inside it, though. Did you inform High Command? Yes, sir. They recommend we drop a beacon and leave it for a fully equipped research vessel. Just a recommendation, not a direct order? Yes, sir, but... Adam, use the grappling claw to bring it into the cargo bay. I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Uh, it'll be in range for the next few hours. Right. Uh, Righto, Chief. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, everyone, get back to what they were doing. We'll let you know if we need you, you need you for anything. Just... The, just a minute, John. I jumped the gun there. What do you think of this? Well, I guess I won't know what to think till it's brought in. Yes, yes, quite. You know we're going to need you there when we examine it. I didn't know that. Oh, come on, John. This is basic procedure. You should know this. This is potentially a first contact scenario. Regulations say a qualified psychologist must be on hand for all first contact scenarios. Okay, sure, but I'm not sure what use I'd be. You need to stop depreciating yourself. Adam and I should be done bringing it in soon. Stop by my quarters for a chat if you like help pass the time. Alright. Well, I'm gonna explore the ship. I need to get out of that accent. Let's check out the engine room. Ooh. Engine room. Boring. Boring. Ooh. What's that ever do? Controls the brake force field. Interesting. Let's use the door. Let's see what's through here. Ooh, generator. I'm reliably informed this is what keeps the ship ticking over. Keeps everything running tickety boo. And here's the cargo bay. Nothing of interest in here right now, trust me. Have a little faith. I'll know what I'm saying. Residential sector all closed off except for the lounge, because that's people's rooms. I don't know where our room is. We never find our room, I guess. Alright, here's a hatch. Entrance to the maintenance tunnel. I don't know where. Let's go through the hatch. Oh, it's screwed shut to keep people like me from ruining the ship. Ooh, a map. Is it a map of space? No! It is a map of the ship. We're here. Okay. Mmm. Interesting. And a dispenser. Need a dispenser here! Food dispenser takes material from the garbage processor on the deck, and converts into edible matter, matter with nano machines. I'm not hungry. Fine. <gasps> Excuse me. Hey, you be not hungry. Jerk. You not hungry jerk. Alright, let's check. The, this is the communal deck. Here's the break room. Yeah, there's the food room. No, that's my room. One of these is a break room, a rec room, break room thingy. There we go. There's some arcade games. Centipede. Some game they don't name. I love this game. Never work out to do with a disembodied brain in a jar. Table. Through a combination of holographic and force field technology, this table can simulate snooker, table tennis, subuto, and pretty much anything. Dart board. They lost the darts. I'm sure this would be, I would be brilliant at this if we had any darts, because we lost the darts a month ago. Can't take any of the books off the shelf, so let's get out of here. Do we want to look at the sofa? Okay, we'll look at the sofa. Nice place to sit after a hard, hard evening's air hockey. Alright. Panel. One of the many maintenance panels that only an engineer understands. Screwed on pretty tight. Okay. Let's check out the observation. Oh, wait, no, there's one room we haven't tried here. Day. William? Oh, hello, John. How are you feeling now? Better, I think. Talking to you helped. I'd like to come and talk again in future. You know, if I'm not murdered or anything. Sure, come track me down. It's just what I'm here for. What do you think of this alien object? To be honest, I'm not that bothered. I'm just a physician. Won't matter to me unless someone injures himself on it. What are you doing there? Just reading some scientific papers somebody sent me. It's incredible what they can do with nanites these days. 
all over my head, I'm afraid. Well, I'd better let you back. Wait, get better back, back to work. See you later. I make blah 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 blah. I can talk words. I can make mouth sounds and talk words. My talk words are good. Angela. Lieutenant Commander Angela Garrett is the first mate. Let's talk to her. Yes, I think we should bear talk. She bears talking. Let's go talk to Angela. Angela. Angela? Dr. Somerset? How can I help you? Do you come here often? Hey, baby. Usually once a day, generally before bed. I like to have a little moment to myself. Uh, yes. What do you think the object will turn out to be? Probably nothing but miscellaneous space debris. I agree with the captain's actions in regard to it. Better we find out it's unimportant before wasting a large research ship's time. Okay, what do you want the object to be? I want it to be nothing important. Federation reports say there's no life in the Caracas galaxy. If this proves correct, we won't have to update all our records. That's a very practical attitude. Thank you, Doctor. Nice view, isn't it? I thought so once. But now I've spent so much time in space, it loses its wonder. Now I see nothing but clusters of red giants, binary systems, nebulae, dust. Right. How are you feeling? Quite well at the moment, thank you for asking. No problems that require your professional attention. Jolly good. I suppose I should be off about my business. Until later, then. Alright, we found almost everybody. I don't think we can find that la other lady. Let's see... Ops deck. Let's go check on the captain. Oh, there she is. Serena? Oh, hello, Dr. Somerset. Enjoying your work? Oh, yes, thanks. Is this your first posting? No, I was on a cargo transporter before this. This must be a bit of a change of pace. Yep. What do you think of the artifact, Miss? That's not how you spell artifacts! been driving me nuts! Personally, I don't think it'll turn out to be much. It's the captain's attitude that surprises me. He completely ignored a recommendation from high command. I know how he'd feel if I ignored one of his suggestions. Overjoyed, probably. What? Nothing. What do you think of the captain? He's a nice person, but confidentially he seems a bit unprofessional. Why is that? Uh, he doesn't like it when I call him sir. He keeps asking me to. He keeps asking me to call him Barry. That's not what a captain should be like. Sorry about that. I clicked by accident. Is that console as complicated as it looks? Not to me. But then I spent four years learning how to use it. I see. Nothing you'd like to talk to me about? If I think of something, I know where your office is. Of course. I'll see you around. Bye. Door. Dun 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 dun. Escape pod hatches. I'm sure we'll never need those. Those will never be relevant. I, I'm, everything will be hunky dory. The door is to be opened by the panel, by the door, or from within. Okay. Do I talk to the panel? Yo, panel. Who is it? It's John Barry. Ah, uh, John, do come in. What's on your mind? What do you think the object will be? I don't want to make any assumptions yet. Personally, I hope it'll be an alien artifact. Artifact? Ah, but I'm really expecting it not to be. Pessimism is a sensible attitude. That way you can't get disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I'm concerned about one of the crew. Oh? Who? Oh. Angela doesn't have any sense of fun at all. She was educated at the Ganymede's Ganymede University of Science. So I need her as first mate, really. Sometimes a logical viewpoint's what you need most. Serena seems so standoffish. You notice that too? She just goes by the rule book. That's her problem. And you don't? John, I have this theory. Old captains don't get retired because we're old and infirm. We get retired because we realize the rules could make do with a few changes. I see. I don't need to complain about the whole crew, for God's sake. What else you want to discuss? 
How are you feeling? Hell, I'm always content. You know that. You're retiring after this post, right? God, don't remind me. High command have done uh, high command have done so consistently over the last few months. I could have wished for a slightly more memorable final mission. Let's just see what the future holds. <laughs>